Yes, my name is uh, Alban Tiroir, journalist for Radio France International. <clears throat> um, could you please tell us when the Kenyan policemen will be deployed to Haiti, if it's expected next week? And also, uh, some of our sources in Haiti told us that President Ruto might make a stop in Port-au-Prince. Is this confirmed or not? Thank well, you. as you know, the United Nations Security Council voted to establish the multinational security support mission to Haiti in November of last year. Um, that resolution of the UN Security Council, it's called Resolution 2699, uh, furthermore mandated Kenya to lead that mission. In the weeks or in the months that have followed, uh, Kenya has been in preparatory um, uh, mode, uh, preparing for this mission. Of course, there has been significant changes on the ground, not worthy amongst which was the, um, the termination of, of term um, of the former Prime Minister Oriol Henry of Haiti, um, but subsequent to his exit of, of power, there has now been um, inaugurated a presidential council and a national security institution and several other institutions that have been put in place pursuant to an accord that was arrived at a few months ago. In view of that and in view of the decision of the courts in our republic, essentially guiding how Kenya should be able to carry out this deployment, a bilateral um, reciprocal agreement uh, was entered into between Kenya and Haiti which facilitates Kenya to be able to deploy. Um, and we are in the process, or government is in the process of finalizing uh, preparation to deploy. Um, I can tell you for sure that that deployment will happen in the next few, uh, few days, a uh, few weeks. But um, there is no chance at all for President Ruto to uh, go down to Port-au-Prince, as has been alleged.